This is the beginner's guide to the starter version of Adobe Character Animator. Let's get started. So here I am in Adobe Character Animator, and if you look up here in the upper right, you'll see that it is the starter version of this tool. And if I click on Starter, you'll see that you can switch to the Pro version, or you can stay with the starter version. In this particular video, I'm gonna focus on the starter version. Please look for future videos on the Pro version. So what is Adobe Character Animator? Well, it's a tool that enables you to choose one of these pre-existing characters and then animate it in real time. It's amazing. And you can even take it further by instead of using Adobe's characters, you can set up your own from scratch. I'm gonna save that for a future video, but for now, let's dive right in to Adobe Character Animator starter version. If you look here in the upper left, you'll see that there are two different buttons that are pretty important. You've got the Perform button. When you click on that, it takes you to a screen where you can animate in real time. If you go to the Home button, this is where you choose the character that you want to animate. You can also open up past projects, etc. So in this case, I'm just gonna go down here and choose one of these animated characters that come with Adobe Character Animator. How about this unicorn named Stardust? So I'll click on Stardust. It brings in Stardust into the Perform page of Adobe Character Animator. And this can take a little time, but once it's completed pulling that character in to the Perform screen, then you'll see the character show up here. Now you can see right away that my unicorn, Stardust, can hear my voice. And it's trying to mimic the words that I say. So that's pretty cool. But now we're gonna take it to the next level by trying to record my face and my voice as I animate Stardust. Now the next thing I need to do before I start actually animating this character named Stardust in real time is I need to make sure that my camera is set up properly. And you can see for me right now it is, but at first it wasn't. So how would you make sure that that's set up properly? What you would do is you would click here on this gear symbol and choose the camera that you want to use. It's usually a webcam, but uh, you know, feel free to browse through and choose a different one if you want to. Once you've selected a good active camera, you should see your face here in the upper right corner. I've blurred mine out because I don't think you're ready to see uh, this handsome face. But now that I'm showing up there, you can see that as my head moves around, Stardust's head moves around. Even his hair moves, flips from side to side. Now if I move my hands, Stardust doesn't move his hands, but that's okay. Now notice that you can actually reposition Stardust. You can put uh, him exactly where you want him to be in the scene. I think I'm happy with that. And now with my camera set up and with Stardust positioned correctly in the scene, I can now record my face and voice or I can import recorded speech. In this case, I'll start with record face and voice. So I click and I get a countdown. Hi students. Welcome to a new semester. As we begin this semester, I hope you're ready to learn even more Spanish. It's going to be amazing. You're going to learn how to conjugate irregular verbs in Spanish. You're going to learn how to talk about the different places in a city. It's going to be amazing. Let's have a great semester. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish recording. And now in the starter version of Adobe Character Animator, I get the results of my recording. So think about this. Character Animator enabled me to just pick a character and then focus on my performance. I focused on my voice, what I was doing with my head, uh, moving around. I don't know if you noticed this, but the eyebrows even of Stardust mimicked my own eyebrows. If I blinked, Stardust blinked. And so it's really all about choosing the character and then performing and then the character gets animated in real time. If I press play, I can get a sense of how the performance went. Hi students, welcome to a new semester. Notice that the eye movements of Stardust also mimicked my own. It's pretty amazing how this works. Now I can use this playhead to browse through my performance. And if you recall, at the end of my performance, I said some words that I didn't really mean to be a part of it. So if I press play, You'll hear those. So I'm gonna go ahead and... So I was talking to you instead of to the students. And so I want to actually delete that end part. That's okay. All I have to do is click here on this orange handle and drag to the left and it will trim out the end of my recording. I could also trim out the beginning or I could just delete the whole thing and start over. Okay, next comes maybe my favorite feature in the starter version of Adobe Character Animator. Now that I've recorded my performance, I can add some special actions. So here in the upper right, I can make the character look a little differently. I can make him wave or point. 
I think I'll start with waving. So I'm going to click and drag and put this waving action toward the beginning of my recording. And I'll put the playhead back to the beginning. Press play. Let's look at the results. Hi, students. Welcome to a new semester as we begin this. So that worked out great. So what else do I want Stardust to do? I would like him to show how excited he is by having a heart appear at this point when he's talking about all the cool things that are going to happen in this semester. I could make Stardust question things. I could make Stardust maybe dance a little bit. And there's even a custom animation for Stardust. It's a rainbow. Let's add that as well. I'll have Stardust point a couple of times, left and right. And then at the end of the animation, I want Stardust to wave as he says goodbye. Now at this point, I really should test my performance by going back to the very beginning, press play and watch the whole thing. I'm not gonna make you watch it with me, but I'll include my finished project with this video on YouTube. So look in the description below the video in case you want a copy of this, but let's pretend like it's all exactly the way I want it to be with Stardust waving and the rainbow appearing. He's pointing, he's showing the love, he's pointing in the other direction, he's dancing a little bit, and then he's saying goodbye. So this is maybe exactly the way I want it to be. I'll sync beautifully with my own voice and my head movements, eye movements, eyebrows, etc. At this point, if I'm happy with the results, all I have to do is go up here to the upper right and click on this quick export button. It's now preparing my scene, my recording, my voice, the images, the visuals, and it's ready now for me to download the finished video project. Now, there are three preset options I can choose from, low, medium, or high quality. I am gonna purposefully choose low quality, and that's the one I'm gonna to upload to YouTube so that you can download it if you want to. So just when you look at it, keep in mind, this is the worst quality. I could have chosen two higher quality levels if I wanted to, but I'll click export, and it's compiling all of this together into one MP4 video, and I can do what I want with that MP4 video. I have the copyright, I created it using Adobe Tools, I could upload it to YouTube, I could include it in a PowerPoint presentation or a Google slideshow. I could edit it with Adobe Premiere or iMovie or whatever you wanna use. And here's my finished video and I've muted the video, but this amazing high quality animation was animated in the same amount of time it took me to say the words. It was animated in real time and this is its lowest possible quality level. If you wanna see the highest quality, you can export it that way as well. So imagine this looking even better than it currently does. Now back in Adobe Character Animator starter version, I want to point out that there are a couple of other options that we have. We can go here to the aspect ratio and change it to be a square video or to be a portrait video. So you can arrange the shape of your video in this way. I'm gonna stick with landscape. You can also change the background by clicking here. You can choose a totally different background for your animation. You could have a green screen background. You could have one of these other colors or these other settings that are here. So those are all good options to explore. And then the last thing I want to point out is if I go back to the home screen here and I'm gonna choose a different character in this case, I want you to know that instead of recording face and voice, it is possible for me to just import recorded speech. So I could go record my neighbor, my grandma, whomever, and then upload an MP3 or WAV file of that person speaking. And then I could make this character animate with the voice of whoever I recorded. You can even take a famous recording from history or you know the current president of the United States, whatever you wanna do, take a recording from them, upload it, and make the character speak with their voice. So I just love Adobe Character Animator. It's a fantastic tool. Excellent for education, for entertainment, and just for family and hobby uses. So I hope you'll check it out, and I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. You could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.